Hello, Wildcat family. This is Michelle Cavazos, your proud superintendent. Today, I would like to share some important information about Gregory Portland ISD's phase-in plan for students who are enrolled in the face-to-face -face learning option for the first grading period of this school year. Before I outline that plan, I would like to remind everyone that our school board approved the submission of a transition window waiver to the Texas Education Agency. This waiver simply allows us the flexibility needed to finalize a phase-in plan for face-to-face -face learners. As always, we are doing all that we can to be fully prepared for our students no matter what may come, and in the event that local health conditions may change. Our phase-in plan was developed with these needs in mind, and we want to move forward in a manner that is as safe and thoughtful as possible. We've carefully reviewed the district data that you provided to us through the registration process, along with a number of comments, suggestions, thoughts, and concerns you've provided through district surveys, phone calls, via social media, and during our town hall meetings. Our data is specific to GPISD, so our phase-in plan will be specific to us as well. It may not look like other districts' plans, and we thank you in advance for understanding that we are making decisions with sincere consideration for a multitude of needs during a challenging time. Safety remains our number one priority. Our staff has been working around the clock to prepare for the return of students, and soon you will receive another video featuring how our schools and classrooms are being set up and ready for the transition to face-to-face -face instruction. We have considered the requirements, guidelines, and suggestions received from medical authorities and our local officials, including the San Patricio County order that was issued this summer, as well as from the state of Texas, specifically through TEA and the Attorney General. Our phase in plan is unique to our needs, but was also designed to meet the intent of our local county order while exercising the flexibility allowable to us from the state so that we can best serve our students and families. We have six goals that we are, are being addressed through our phase in plan. One, we want to serve the most children possible given the restrictions and guidelines set for us. Two, we also want to serve students with the greatest academic needs first so that they can get the support they need quickly. Three, we want to meet local health order requirements and keep safety first. Four, we want to maximize our flexibility with the approved transition window waiver. Five, we've carefully selected the grade levels to attend school first based on the learning needs of those students as well as the needs of most families. And six, we are making sure that our teachers and staff whose children attend a school district are among those to transition first so that all students can be well served by our team and learning can seamlessly continue as we begin face-to-face -face instruction. We are meeting all of these goals through the following phase-in plan. Phase one will begin with the following students who are currently enrolled for face-to-face -face instruction to begin, atten begin attending school in person as of September 8th. Pre-K through fifth grades at all four ele GPISD elementary schools. All children of GPISD faculty and staff in every grade level and select students with supports which includes a limited number of students identified by administration in both middle and high school. While this may seem like many students, please keep in mind that the data we've received shows the majority of our families are continuing with virtual instruction. And only 25% of GPISD students are being served in phase one. Right now, some GPISD teachers and staff are able to work virtually However, as of September 8th, all GPISD teachers and staff will be reporting to work in person to best serve all of our students and families during this transition. As a result, the children of these employees may be attending school in person as of the same date. We are prioritizing our youngest learners to begin attending school in person first due to both academic as well as family needs at home. The families of our limited number of select students at the middle and high schools will be contacted directly by the campus staff if they are among this group. If you are not sure whether your child is among this group, please do not call this campus. Instead, plan for your student to attend based on his or her grade level and wait for the campus to reach out to you. 
They will be notifying families very soon. Phase two will be initiated as of September 21st with students enrolled in the face-to-face -face learning option that are currently in sixth grade at the middle school and our ninth and 12th grade students, both freshmen and seniors at the high school, attending in person as of this date. The reasons for including sixth and ninth graders in phase two is so that these students who are just entering each campus for the first time will have the chance to become acclimated to their new environment as well as give our teachers and staff an initial period of time to roll out safety measures that will continue as more and more secondary students begin attending school in person. The reason for having our seniors included for phase two is so that they can catch up as quickly as possible on some course requirements necessary to graduate this year. Phase three of our plan will begin on September 28th with face-to-face -face learners in remaining grade levels, seventh and eighth grades at the middle school, as well as 10th and 11th grades at the high school, beginning to attend class in person. As of September 28th, all GPI students, all GPISD students who are enrolled in face-to-face -face instruction would be learning in school, while the majority of students across the district would continue with virtual learning. We understand this phase and plan may be well received by many of our families, and for some, it may not have been the most ideal plan for your personal needs. If that is the case, we sincerely ask for your continued patience, understanding, and support. Making these determinations was challenging for our school leadership, and if it were possible, we would want to have all of our students back together. However, safety needs and requirements are being set for the best interest of all, and we have made thoughtful decisions to serve our families with all of the data and feedback available to us. Please keep in mind that as our local health situation may change, our school situation may change as well. We will continue to keep you informed of any adjustments that may be necessary going forward, and we deeply thank you for your support of our school district. We are Wildcat Pride, and as always, we will move forward together.